game time. Hey guys, and welcome to Prophet of Gaia, Season 3, Episode Number 9. If you're just joining us for the first time, it's a very, very different game. God, you really, uh, you really did zoom me in, didn't you? Like no, not that. really. You're just huge. <laughs> cool. Well, well, terrifying. I don't like it. Uh, okay. Hopefully the audio sounds okay. I didn't have time to do a test. It was fine when I tested it last week, but as we saw... Yeah, I also hate that you don't have the dark mode on your Roll20. Oh, well, but that's whatever. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that bothers to me. doing my makeup. I'm going to do that when we get started here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to Prophet of Gaia. Um, if you're just joining us, this game is a little different than your usual RPGs. Instead of rolling a d20, you're going to roll a increased die type, starting with a d2 if you are absolute garbage at something. None of these players at this point are ever going to roll a d2 unless it's to just determine if something happens or if it's tagged onto the end of like 3d12. Uh, we've reached the point of near godhood, and the team has oh, done right. many uh, universe wide uh, things that are affecting the very fabric of reality at this point. Um, so it's not your typical sci fi either. Um, last week, the team, or I guess it wasn't last week, week before last, the team. Uh, went vault hunting for protean artifacts in the vault of Nemi Ratu. When they went there, they found that uh, found information that Nemi Ratu is the protean um, creator of evolution. And upon going there, they found themselves evolving, changing. And so, with that, Sorry, this is bothering me. I don't have to keep my stuff in the same place so I can move it around. It's weird. I'm not I'm not the hosting. <laughs> uh, with that, they each gained new ability. Um, slight buff to their already formidable <laughs> um, person. And um, upon finishing, they got the Soother, the only person who actually has kinship with the vault. Uh, a specific crest that soaked into her chest. She said that she felt more powerful, she thanked them, and she said that in the future she would do whatever she could to repay the favor. After that, they just returned to the ship, they found themselves there, and that's where we left off. Is sitting behind the helm of the ship, Leo, you find yourself looking out uh, back at this mountainous uh, um, like wall of steel where the vault entrance was, ready to head back. I suppose. Are, are we good? Everybody's hands and feet are inside the ship. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. No one's dead. No. I, well, I, I'm feeling <laughs> fine. I think somebody might have died. Yeah, Annika's just kind of giving Sly this sort of thoughtful kind of suspicious look <laughs> all right so we're, you guys ready to go back then um yes i believe so they probably need us uh i, I don't know lo how long it took to get here i'm not really sure i understand how your ship works but i think this time back. we went back it, in time five it, days it's gonna be more when we get back is gonna be how long it took the trip to happen yeah very well <laughs> Um, Leo, go ahead and make me a check. Right, oh, I need to get my own roll 20 going. I didn't set anything up this time, so. Where is my, there's my flag. So I can see your rolls, see your Penalty. rolls. So, D plus, D plus, and then this one is my physical ability, right? Is that it in here? Um, yes, it's physical ability, time control. Yeah. Then my willpower intelligence is it both of them. Mm -hmm. right. I should make a macro for this one. Oh, I need to update mine. Damn it. Yeah, I updated and made macros for all my usual things. Look at you guys with your macros. I don't even know what I would do as a player. There's like a 54. 54. Okay. All right. Okay, um, you can control the exact day you would like to go to. I, I want to arrive one second 
after we left. <laughs> One second after you left. <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Hey, guys. How you doing? <laughs> same what? <laughs> uh, so you find yourself uh, in that same sort of inertia where your ship for a moment transforms back to its normal state. As you're traveling this time, there's a strange sort of inertia that takes hold of you and you feel yourself whipping around and as if the space around you is completely gone. You feel yourself falling through space back towards your original um, departure point. During this time, uh, Leo and Sly, since you've both been outside of time, uh, Sly, you look to the left and Leo, you look as well and you see a young woman in a lawn chair kicked back and you see space literally ripping past each of you stars flying by and you see this young girl with black skin sitting there in a lawn chair looking at a little orb in front of her she sort of turns her head over to you and she just sort of ticks her ticks her hand to the side and the next thing you know you're back in the space that's kind of right where you were kind of look at free fall don't say anything i just look at him i'm like do you what? I mean, that's kind of normal at this point. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here we are. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Yeah. You guys step out, and you see the people who had just finished loading the ship and backed away, um, sitting there, just continuing their business, like nothing has happened yet, just staring at you guys, like. Okay, you're good to go. Oh, uh, we're we're done. We're back. Back. Well, you guys are like inside the ship. <laughs> oh. So you like step out, yeah. step yeah, outside, step Start out. Right. You're like, all right. And they're like, um, um, the charmer walks up to you. He's like, are you? Uh, are you? You we're back. Yeah, we left, came back. Uh, he just can't help but smile and just stares at you guys. And he's just like, I would very much like to take a trip in that ship someday. <laughs> hey, hey, if you go, that means uh, I'm uh, me and you both. It's like you've taken many trips. In this I'm saying if he goes with us, it's because we're visiting our god. So. No, you guys haven't found a Gila Kron vault. Need to find one of those. Um, uh, who's the person? The soother. Soother. Just yeah, she steps back. off the ship and yeah. looks so, at how, how are you feeling? I feel fine. Famous before. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to that particular form of travel, but um, it was good. And then she walks over, and her and Charmer sort of start sharing a private conversation and head back into the uh, Providence. All right, well, uh, I, I'm assuming Annika might need a moment, but uh, I'm ready to go kill some things because I have a lot of, uh, I think people call these emotions that I uh, want to get rid of. Not it. <laughs> get, get rid of? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, okay, so we've got other stuff they, they wanted us to do since... Um, Looks like we've got plenty of time. Ly- Lyra and uh, Elaine step off the ship and start walking. You know, and they heard uh, Sly say the thing about emotions. She's like, "Pretty sure you might want to talk to my mom about that. Uh, it's kind of an area of expertise. You um, don't feel anything. Simple enough." Does that require Sylvia to uh, feel what I feel right now? Because. Not uh, sure if not I sure. want to you transfer sure, that to anybody. She does. Um, are you there, Nikita? Or she's muted. She's she's she. Poofed. Heck, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sylvia's just like um, I th- I think I can handle it if you need help. Uh, I'd rather just kill things. 
not the healthiest way to go about things, but I, I, I can't force you to do anything. I mean, at least uh, he doesn't want to just drink it away. Killing things is something I can get behind. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I'd, it's fine. I'd have to, kill. to drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, your, vi- your double vitality check probably. <laughs> probably drink like eight gallons of pure liquor before you ever yeah. get drunk. Uh, but, so do we want to uh, infiltrate, which sounds a little less killy, or um, kill the planet that reformed itself, which I don't know what that means. Yeah, that uh, sounds like something we should probably look into. How I'm not the brain, so free fall or Caldwell. Where's Caldwell? Caldwell! <laughs> just yelling on the ship. People look around. <laughs> Some of the people that are moving moving crates um, I, on lists over to your guys's. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I calms him. Caldwell. Uh, oh. Yes. Yeah, right, I want you to know that hurt my ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would just turn Schneider down. So, since I I'm did. Parents, I'm pretty sure my parents are like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what is wrong yeah. with this kid? <laughs> um, so very much. So yeah, I'm, I'm just rehearsing a part. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you, uh, you hear um, Caldwell say yes, Anika. How can I help you today? Well, we got back from the vault with the soother, and it looks like we're going to go head out after the um, planet formerly known as Taxion Eight. Very well. Um, I will let Lady Providence know as soon as uh, I'm capable of doing so. Currently in the middle of making sure that they put things in an appropriate place. I'd like to keep track of what's on our ship, if possible. Uh, oh, on, are you on the other ship or on our ship? Or which ship are you on? Uh, currently I'm on the Providence, but I'm making sure that they... Um, I, I'm orchestrating okay. and we're transfer of goods. We're taking care of those <clears throat> abominations, right? Um, well, we, we haven't really decided exactly how we we're going to do that. I think um, I voted for exterminating them. Yes, but nobody really came to a complete decision. I think the final uh, decision was you guys would deal with it later after you came back from your initial situation. Well, we're Not back. to mention the fact that um, currently keeping them in stasis isn't impossible. Right. Well, um, we don't know what we're going to find when we go looking for this thing and what it might be capable of or how long we'll be gone. So just anything that needs to be settled. I have a theory called, well, I got on comms. Uh, all those things explode, right? Uh, I believe when they are struck with enough physical material damage, they do indeed um, yeah. explode, yes. Um, does the explosion t- seem to hurt the other beings? I'm not entirely sure. We haven't this... tried exploding one directly next to another. I imagine that it counts as them taking material damage as well. So it might be a case, chain reaction of explosions, yes. We might be able to status like a group of them and kind of use them as a detonation bomb towards the planet, maybe. Or the 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 you don't I think- believe the argument about whether or not we were going to destroy these things or not, um, was a moral question. And I believe using Entities like that were once used as a weapon of mass destruction seems a bit crass, but I'm on board. <laughs> I'm not convinced that it wouldn't backfire in some way. These things don't always die. It is you... highly possible that if this ship were headed to, if this this monstrosity, whatever it may be, planet, I, I'm not sure. They, it's very vague. Yeah. Um, however, whatever it might be. It's highly possible that it is contaminated with the primordial particles as well as these are. I'm just in which case, fusing this, with them and becoming yeah. more powerful is highly possible as well. Exactly. So, uh, um, if it is indeed nothing but noble, um, who could say how it would react? Well, but either way, I don't think it's worth the risk. And I think having these things around is 
a liability. I don't want. I don't. I don't want the defiler getting his hands on them and figuring if, out what's going on there. If it's a, if our mission is to just destroy the planet, have we developed uh, any sort of artillery via these ships to shoot and just? Currently, Oof. it has been stated that the technician will be quite helpful in this venture, and that he um, does plan to participate in the fight and use the preacher's uh, combat capacities to the fullest. Not to mention, you will have your own fleet of individual fighter ships that will accompany you on this venture. Uh, my heroic! You guys use super weapons to blast noble stuff. Uh, would you be able to, if we, uh, you know, opened up the biome, would you be able to get some of the dwarf material and upgrade some of those weapons on the uh, whatever Medili, our our ship? I don't what really know right now, Slate. Currently, I've got my hands pretty much elbow deep. In some pretty hot material. Um, ah, shit. Right. shit! It hurts! It hurts! <laughs> oh! No, it's fine! It's fine! It burned through the gloves. I forgot I'm immune to fire. <laughs> it's very convenient. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you think you can make to refurbish those weapons, the outer ship weapons to. I think that would be an overhaul that would take quite a bit of time. I don't think I could just walk over there and say, boom, you're upgraded. It might take months to do that, something of that size, especially if I'm the only one who knows what I'm doing. Not to mention we don't have a lot of materials that come from, well, the orphan sources, if you know what I mean. I thought we had, like, endless material in there, technically. Huh? Oh, you mean, like, inside of the biome? Yeah. Yeah, sure. But we don't know how time's working in there right now. It could be really risky. I could be gone for even longer. He could come back even older. Yeah, I'm already pretty a really old long time. Point. I'm definitely the oldest among all of us. Well, either way, it sounds like the kind of thing that's not going to happen in a time frame for us to be killing things imminently. So let's say we just get the technician and go on a scouting mission, see what we find. Uh, it's going to be hard to scout with a three mile long ship but well yeah i mean we were anticipating there's going to be fighting <laughs> on the other side of this but <laughs> we won't know until we get there yeah all right well, let's i guess let's make preparations although i don't think anybody's going to be prepared because their preparations were for us to be gone for at least longer than uh what was it one second free fall <clears throat> Almost an exact re-arrival. Yeah, so... Well, then we can help. Yeah. Yeah, hey, uh, Caldwell, get, uh, get Fernie to help move some stuff. I'm sure he can basically move... The oh, he's been working 100. on that for quite some amount of time. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about that? Yeah. Probably just <clears throat> with legs. I don't know if you guys were talking about this on comms or not, The here. Yeah. Yeah, this all of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, well, I mean, technically, if you really wanted to do work on the ship as quickly as possible, it is plausible that, you know, you could do some of what was done once before, if you know what I mean, with um, being multiple places at once. Uh, might be a bit risky, but. I think you could cut your time into an infinitely uh, smaller amount. Uh. <laughs> so my brain doesn't work that way. So somebody else explain. He <laughs> <laughs> just kind of looks back at the ship and is like... Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean... It's I... Just, I'm just saying it's possible that you could have thousands of yourselves if you wanted to spend the time yourselves traveling back a few um, hours um, each time work as much as possible um, the amount of work that could technically be done would be 
minimal. Um, however, there will be multitudes of you. Can we bring Fernie with us then? Uh, well, uh, uh, I don't see why the plant would be good at upgrading technology, but. I meant moving stuff. He could just go to different parts of the ship to move stuff around. It's highly possible. That said, I'm not sure what the ramifications of working with yourself over an infinite uh, mirroring would, would, would do to a person. Um, yeah, I, I mean, at some point, wouldn't we just be like... <sighs> Sorry, this is giving me flashbacks of how awful it was the first time around. Uh... I was just making a, a mere suggestion if that was something you wanted to pursue. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's a terrible idea. Then why suggest it? Oh, because you all do terrible things and you have terrible ideas. So I thought maybe... Leo is walking back into the ship. Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can what? see myself. A thousand of me would just be like, all right, let's get this shit done. <laughs> oh, God, a thousand free falls. I would lose my mind. Yeah. Um, or... Yes? <laughs> Since that only took one second, we could do another vault. Assuming he could bring the ship back and exactly as I mean, don't get me wrong, it's like you're same, getting you're definitely getting better at it, but it's a, it's the same probability as it was the first time around. Yeah, I feel like we just got lucky, right? Yeah, so one <laughs> lucky run means we can afford an unlucky run, right? I'm not sure that's how, how that works. <laughs> I think we should make the most of our luck while we have it. They weren't excited to go back this early. That means they haven't had time to do much, but now we can be here for what needs done and get started on the next thing. It's up to you. you He's know, already like, doing stuff. He's already rolling things. So. Organized. So. I, I just, We're I all just having this conversation. One. Leo's already gone. I want a second, Leo, like myself, I want to walk up behind them while I'm sitting in the ship. <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> roll me a D1 million. One million. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four, five. <laughs> Six, six zeros, right? Six zeros, yeah. There's eight of us, Morty. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you know, the <laughs> ship is sitting there, and then Leos just start walking out. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys here on comms. Um, I'm getting reports of <laughs> lots of Leos walking around on the preacher at the moment. On all of us. We're fine. Ah. So currently, let me explain the situation to you. Currently, there is a ship sitting on top of the preacher with Leos just crawling out of it in swarms. <laughs> and then there's also Leos coming and picking up boxes on this side. It's just 600,950 Leos just completely covering the ships like a swarm. Oh, God. So, Leo, I'm going to need you to make me a technical check. So we're just like looking out the window at the preacher and just seeing a whole bunch of like Leos just, coming out. Just crawling around on its surface like ants. Just you guys are like low peer across the other ship and you see like what looks like darkness spreading across the edge of the preacher. It's possessed again! Shoot it down! No, it's just there are people oh, freaking what, what out. Like, Call out, this is all your fault. Damn it. Call it was well. a mere suggestion. We think this was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and just every just time like it's this big echo us. just oh god alright well Rory you have a lot of Leos to help with your dwarven armaments He's I, I, there, <laughs> Rurik's just like I'm not really really scared at the moment that's not gonna lie <laughs> They keep uh, taking things, and, the, and I keep trying to explain what I'm doing, and then the one just walks up and says, you've already explained it several, 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 several times. You don't need to anymore. I know what I'm doing. And it keeps freaking me out. They just keep coming, and they know exactly what they're doing. They're taking all my things. They might know it better than I do at this point. <laughs> just, I, I, uh, let's stay out of their way, I guess. I mean, I can try to dissolve some of them, uh, but I, then I might wind up killing the real one. I don't know. Don't do yeah. it. <laughs> so, so, uh... Leo, if you're doing this properly, um, if you're doing this properly, these aren't copies of you. These are 600,950 versions of yourself that you have lived through. And the very uh, last one has done this 600,949 <laughs> times. 949 times. So um, I want you to know that that last, that last version of you has aged one hour times 600,950. Ooh. That's fine. Okay. Because I would just have the last one tell the current me all of the stuff. 
Yeah, so let's, let's do the math it. there. Right, what's, right six, there. what's 600,950 hours in the years, guys? <laughs> All right, so what, what's the technical check you want me to roll? Too much math. Yeah. <laughs> Gagnor. What's up? You said you wanted me to make a technical roll? Yes, you now have D12 in Dwarman Armaments. All right, so... Technically, which I, was, which I was about to say, I, I have a... Yeah, I only have a D10, so don't mind. And what else is just, uh, intelligence going into this one? Yes, intelligence, and I'm going to say willpower as well. Okay. Um, Mostly okay. because you need the willpower to keep going. <laughs> All right, so that was... Plus... Yeah. Screw the butterfly effect. It's the free fall effect. Uh, free fall effect. that one. It's exactly so, what the, the same. Fuck? <laughs> okay. Forty's not bad, but I'm sorry. Forty's not bad. Um, let's see if you can exceed its HP. Of the ship itself, which is because yeah, realistically, what I would do is like that aged one would just be like, all right, you're the first iteration. Everything. Oops, I just hit a button I didn't need to hit uh, again. I'll have to... Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, your mic went all weird. Robot. Yep, that happens when I accidentally hit the, hit the button. Sorry about that, guys. Don't uh, hit I, the button. <laughs> well, I'm trying to hit the other buttons, but they're right next to that button. So, okay. Uh, Don't draw buttons. Yeah, <laughs> so. Um, fuck. Okay. What would you like to do with the ship? Uh, you can boost. There are several different things you can boost. You can boost its um, overall HP. You can boost its damage. You can boost its speed. And if you wanted to, you could also boost its um, overall stats. I'm feeling like in this case, it'd be like overall stats. Just working on everything. Okay, so you got 40, 40 points to spend. <laughs> um, would you? What would you like to? What would you like to put points into? Strength, agility, vitality, alertness, intelligence, willpower. The ship uh, has a, alertness and intelligence. And... Yes, it does. Uh, let's put. What are you? And forty is forty see. step, so eighty die, or eighty number. Yeah. Yeah. What do, you, what do you guys think? I'm gonna ask for a little meta on this because I don't know what to put it into. For a ship, uh, <laughs> probably defense, attack, and agility, right? So we get there faster, we hit harder, and have better evasion. No, yeah. that works for me. Okay, so you're gonna add to the ship's evasion. Yes. Yeah. Which ones? How for much? HP? How many? How many D12s or whatever? So willpower and vitality. Uh, so we have 40, I would say, let's just, do we want to be a f more maneuverable ship or a more damaging ship? Because I said we do like 10, 10, 15. Five into like alertness. Five into vitality maybe, be a more HP on the ship. I'm okay with that. Five into vitality and split the other 10, 10, 15. So, do, but do we want the fifteen in agility, or do we want the fifteen in um, hard Damage. hitting? Yeah. Damage. Damage. Yeah. All right. So, fifteen strength, I guess. Damage, strength. I don't know. What, right. what would be the damage in this ship? Strength, probably. Um, strength. Strength is how it attacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so what? What are we putting in? Uh, D ten agility. D ten. Uh, don't remember D15 strength and D5 vitality. <laughs> is it willpower? <laughs> or alertness? No. Okay, so I'm just going to move it in D12. So how many points are you putting into strength? Uh, 15. D15. So 12, 3. So I'm just going to do 2 D12 and round it up. Uh, and then you're putting some into agility too. 10, yeah. Yeah, so that's that. And alertness, intelligence, willpower at all? Uh, I guess we can just five, five, five. 
Yeah, that mm -hmm. works. Yeah, but so I think... that, but since I'm rounding up, that's probably the most efficient way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys have boosted the stats. Um, your ship now has 42 D12 strength. Um, 42 D2? D12. D12. Okay. <laughs> like D2? And 3 D12 agility. 101 D12 vitality. 6 D12 alertness. 6 D12 intelligence. And 5 D12 willpower with 15,000 HP. All, All right. Start vanishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. But each one has to walk by their shifts done back into the ship. And then the last, like the Latin, they start like after each one, like you see these people working for like an hour and then they'll slowly start moving back into the ship one by one. Just came, they came off, they came off, they did their job and they moved. And they report, to each the other. New, report to the newest one. This is what I learned. <laughs> oh, okay. Do, do, do. This is what I learned. Oh, okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and the rest of the ship will be. All right. So, how long does that whole process take of 600,000 hymns? Not that long. Uh, it takes, it takes an, hour. an hour each, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, so one full hour happens. Yeah. So the whole passes. the whole hour, I'm just watching in like in awe, disgust, but also like yeah, there are people freaking out. You guys off. then get like after like 30 minutes, you guys get a call from Lady Providence. Literally, like just buzzes you guys and says, "Why? <laughs> Don't worry about it." <laughs> Are there so many of your friends running around at the current moment? Um, well, does he uh, have a duplicating ability? I'm not sure what's happening right now. So the ship it's, that no, it, we it's nope, just, it's fine. It's fine. And giving Sly very like firm, just <laughs> don't say. It don't make me dissolve you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, we're kind of. You have to ask him. Uh, we've never seen him do this before. Yeah. So, yeah, he'll have a better explanation. As the last one finally moves back into the ship, <clears> the second <throat> ship disappears and re reappears in the hangar of the Preacher, I assume is where you want to place it? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's on the... Not the... Yeah, the Preacher. And, uh... And then, you know... The Preacher's ours, or... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably yeah, she's and, and, and so yeah. yes. you're on the preacher, Leo. Looking at your handiwork, the engines seem <laughs> larger and buffed with a more efficient exhaust system. Um, you see, the cannons have been um, like where, where the where the lasers are generated have basically um, been reformed so that they they go through a specific type of dwarven alloy to keep the cooling system down and make them more efficient. A whole bunch of shit. So. Thanks for the help, Rourke. You've upgraded the uh, you upgraded the um, um, the location like sensors and stuff like that with the crystals, with the uh, actual you know view crystals. So like you've hybridized your ship as to, into a half dwarf and a half Gaian ship. Man, if I say so myself, this thing looks good. Yeah, uh, can you not do that again, though? <laughs> no promises. No promises. <laughs> and how do you feel after that? Meh. Tired. I'm actually going to figure out what that is. Let's just do it in in basic math. So that divided by 24. Let's just do 600,000. That's fine. Mm. Divided by 24 divided by 365. <laughs> That was 68 years, Leo. <laughs> Just stretches a little bit. <laughs> you look at Leo, he's got a big ass beard. <laughs> Just be like, oh. It's like, I it's like, probably shave. It, it, like, his beard is like literally down to the ground. Like, <laughs> did any of them find time to like eat or take a shower? Somehow during this time, it didn't seem like he needed to eat at all. This is an hour at a time each time. Yeah, and each time he went to the ship, he felt refreshed. <clears throat> right. Me and the ship have a nice bond. So, uh, yeah. Uh, right, how are you gonna get? Are you uh, gonna get back onto the Providence, or are we just meeting you over there now? Oh. Well, we're we're all supposed to be on the preacher, right? 
pretty much everything from the preachers from the uh, Providence has been moved over to the preacher. No, um, so we're good the to Leos go. took care of that. So <laughs> the Leos. No. I just keep imagining Rick and Morty, and where there's like a million Mortys or Ricks just like <laughs> running Ricks around. Morty's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what just happened. <laughs> um, so you guys have upgraded your ship, and Lady Providence um, comes back to you. And she's like, so the basic battle plan, um, I assume you are all aware of what's going on. Your ship is to intercept this target in blah, 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 sector. And um, destroy I'm sorry, it. what sector was that? Well, <laughs> 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 oh, damn. Uh, uh, it is sector. I mean, it's whatever Tax Town Eight was located at. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and is our overall mission just to destroy it, or you want us us to figure out what the hell it is first? Um, if there is a way to end it without destroying it, um by all means however i believe that this thing is a threat to all living things yeah uh, who who purged the the lifeless or the who can turn the bad thing back to normal on uh, a hollow shell that would be the soother but i don't believe that she's capable of doing something so large uh, she's a little supercharged but, yeah, maybe not. It took her several days to return one single abomination back to human, and it was soulless. Um, I'd like... I, I'd like to see her try one more time and see how quickly uh, she can do that now after the, you know, the little vault run we just did. Um, very well. I will have her... Head over to your ship and see any progress that she can make. Uh, I will give her about an hour to see if she can make progress. Otherwise, I'll need her back on my ship. Um, we will be heading off to our own venture, taking care of the way station. Alrighty, sounds good. Okay, so during that hour, <clears throat> she's going to go over there and attempt to do that. Which I don't know I think since we have are. another segment of time to burn, Annika will... Uh... Amble up to Sly and be like, So, you want to explain what the fuck that was back there? <clears throat> um, well, uh, you know, I was married thanks to uh, the Reaper of Souls or whatever the hell his name was. Yeah, I saw him. Well, uh, Freefall informed me that I had a daughter, because uh, I didn't know that, and uh, that he had seen my daughter, but that my daughter um, looked very abysmal. So me thinking it was impossible that I had a daughter, like in this material plane, thought maybe it was uh, old badass's daughter which would make her the princess, essentially, of the abysmal realm, which that's kind of badass. Um, so I just thought nothing of it after that information. Well, we get to Gaia. <clears throat> and you know the little uh, Spitfire little girl that was uh, man in the guns? Uh-huh. That was my daughter. And uh, remember when the big old flamey beast hit the tower? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, um, apparently in the middle of the night, um, my sneaky, sneaky father-like son daughter stole um, some abysmal pills from Sylvia. Uh, it looked like your orb of creation. Yeah, I don't know if you know that was missing, but uh, yeah. She immediately starts digging through her back. <laughs> 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 Took your uh, orb of creation. Uh, and some, uh, somebody still had some, uh, regular blue pills, um, and something else, I, I don't remember, but yeah, it all melted to her as she melted with the beast. Um, she became like you 
after you got swallowed up by that beast? Yes, because she has my bloodline, but uh, with the addition of the Orb of Creation, the Abysmal Pills, and the Psychedelic Pills, um, she the best thing I can think of uh, is she's become just short of a god um, in its entirety. She apparently has altered our reality because you, uh, as Freefall informed you, killed us all, uh, except Freefall. Uh, yeah, I don't remember doing that. Yeah, because that didn't happen in this reality that we're currently living in because my daughter switched that reality or altered it. I don't... Uh, don't know as free fall to, um, to clarify for the viewers that all <laughs> happened and we just shifted focus as viewers to a universe where it didn't happen yeah yeah uh, uh so and um basically when you touch the door uh free fall which was smart thinking decided hey or before right before you touch the door he freeze time sent me and him to uh, my daughter, which that was an interesting reunion. And um, we talked and she said, I should definitely not touch that door at all. Uh, we would all die and potentially everything, all, all of it would die. Um, but you touching the door was almost as bad. And... Um, no matter what combination went through that door, death happens. Uh, if it was me and you, which would be the most geared to do it, we would both die, or at the very minimum, I would die and you would live. <clears throat> which, according to my daughter, who has seen the future, the past, and whatever the hell else, um, if either one of us die, the whole everything dies eventually. So you and I... And probably everybody, but that I know of, clarification, you and I have to live. I don't know. Um, to At least to rebirth the world. I don't know. Whatever. I, wrong guy, you know. Um, but yeah, she said uh, the only way that it works out is if she kills it. And uh, that form of her dies. But there are like... Freefall had 600,000 hymns. Uh, there are essentially endless daughters that I have. So what you saw was my daughter in the material world, which I haven't seen yet. I've only seen her in the timeless world. Some other, I don't, you know, I don't know. But basically, uh, I said yes to my daughter dying again in front of my eyes. So... As you can tell, I just want to go kill things again because I finally got reunited with my daughter and then that got shot to shit again. <clears throat> so take my daughter. Sounds fair, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, uh, I'm sorry about all that. Um, things are pretty weird and fucked up and yeah. they keep getting weirder and more fucked up. Yeah. And uh, I can only... Well, you know, I watched my father die recently, and... Yeah, I saw that. I, that was a mistake to get into that mind of yours. He, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you, uh, you, yeah, you good? You holding up? Uh... You know, he, he tried to say something before I put him out of his misery. And uh, I'm never going to know what that was. Um, I just, I knew, like, I, I, I knew if I let him talk, I would, I wouldn't be able to hold up the facade and the defiler would see everything and he would, he would win that fight. You killed his heart, right? But the brain's still there? <sighs> I'm... I mean, in theory, I can go invisible and go to the brain, which stores the memories, and maybe, you know... I really... See what he was gonna say. If you were curious. Can you, can you read dead minds? Is that a, I don't is know. That a, I don't know. 
know. I just, but I really want to find out. Oh God. I, I just want to see oh. Sly like pick up a rock and try and read a rock <laughs> an inanimate object and be like, I can do it, guys. <laughs> But I mean, a brain, if I can juice it with my own energy for a second, the brain stores the memories, not the heart. So You know, the it, reason the reason I did what I did is he had been the subject of so many fucked up experiments over however the fuck long it's been. I really don't like the idea of any more taking place. Maybe Maybe try on somebody else first. But yeah, we I'm need sure to find a, a dead a dead brain. Defiler is probably keeping trophies now that you mention it. So yeah, something yeah. else to worry about. Well, something for the future. I might be able to figure out if you want to know what your dad's last words were. I'm, uh, I'm not sure I do. I'm just I'm. In, anyway, I'm sorry about all this. And <sighs> oh hey no, I'm I'm sorry you had to you didn't get to enjoy the company of my daughter longer. In, in different circumstances. Yeah. Which I imagine, was it cool? Was it cool seeing her fight? Like, was she, was she badass? I'm sure she was badass, right? She like... I really didn't see shit. shit. It was... That's disappointing. It was chaos in there. It was... awful, really. Everything just happened so fast. Yeah. Well, that's uh, the the higher version of you, uh, you know. Yeah, I kind of imagine wondering. that's that's what it was like <clears throat> to, uh, you know, back on Taxi on Eight and any other time I've yeah. I've done that kind of stuff. So, but one without a conscious. Although you kind of don't have a conscious when you do it either. But basically, it was just you. It was you. It, you that was you. But you know, future you. I like to but think. But hopefully, uh, we can change that. Yeah, I like to think uh, Sylvia's helped. Um, you know, before all that happened. Yeah. None of this would have mattered to me, so something's changed. That's, that's good. That's that's change. I've changed a lot. Physically mostly, but <laughs> mentally a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I always wondered how you got those scars when uh <laughs> <laughs> You They're all gone know. now, but <laughs> uh, bad run-ins with bad people. Probably uh, yeah. that the reason I'm even here, essentially. Probably feels uh, like nothing now, yeah. Oh yeah, no, now I'm, I haven't seen this face. <laughs> uh, well, this fake facade face, because. Whatever. I haven't seen a good me in a while. In a while. While you guys are sitting there talking, you see that <laughs> Lyra and Elaine are sitting in a chair just eating. <laughs> just, <laughs> They're just watching. Watching this conversation. <laughs> I'm just like... <clears throat> oh, and I do uh, need to um, talk to you, unless I already have, don't remember, uh, about a particular... Uh, thing that um, would need to be in private. Who could tell if you had that conversation is absolutely impossible to determine. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> if we had this conversation or not because I don't think I've actually told anybody in game uh, about okay. things. <laughs> about things. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so uh you know what? Um, block off your bad shit. I'm going to block off my bad shit. And uh, let's mind link real quick. <laughs> you know, trying not to think about the bad shit makes the bad <laughs> shit easier to think about. <laughs> okay. Think. I'd, just open your mind. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so now we're mind linked. So Lyra can't hear, uh, I'm assuming. And hoping do <laughs> Who I, knows? Do I heard before, yeah, I was about to say before I even speak, do I get the sense Lyra can hear me or bud in? Lyra Lyra and Elaine both look at you and then look at each other and they're just gonna smile a little bit. Like it's cute that he thinks he could just avoid us hearing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh Did you? Just um, Yeah. I just kinda like <laughs> 
just to make it not as awkward in your mind, I'm like, um, so doc about the the burning urination I was feeling. <laughs> they both get kind of just like, <laughs> and they both just get up and walk away. <laughs> There'll be a Lyra and Elaine come up to you and they're just like, you got weird friends, mom. I know. Nothing do I know. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Now that they walked away, I'm like, all right. Um, so on the real, <clears throat> the burning pee, is that a, is that a, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure if I told you this, but you're probably the most capable one of handling the situation uh, and the least emotionally attached, uh, no offense, about the situation. But I spoke with G. Lacron uh, before the whole, I guess, higher or whatever plane got destroyed or connection got broke. Uh, told him about Lyra. And he stiffened, uh, saw real uh, primordial fear in his eyes, or whatever the hell he is, uh, protean fear, and said, never, ever trust a primordial, no matter how nice or innocent they seem at first. Um, Hmm. I'd like to assume that Lyra's an exception, because she's only like half primordial, we think. Um, And she has a mother-daughter connection but if shit hits the fan our biggest enemy might not be Throm it might end up being Lyra right don't need to tell everybody this because I don't think that would be complicated yeah but um and I still you know I still love the little girl you know well she's not really little anymore but um I'm kind of, after learning that, I've kind of been on my toes around the situation. I think... Oh, God. All right. Because gonna... she was born and raised primordial. These creatures and creations were infused with primordial. So <clears throat> even Throm wasn't born out of this. He was infused with it. I'd imagine Lyra's capabilities can be... I mean, the primordials created the universes or whatever. I think they did. I don't know. We've but... always known she was powerful and strange. and I don't think we knew how powerful. And I don't think she knows yet. That's the scary thing, is as powerful as we've seen her. I don't even think she has tapped much of what she uh, understands. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye on her and, and Celia and... Uh... I think the best thing is to shut up. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of agree. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it would be best to just be normal. Just huh. show her we care and we're here and we're all in this together. And yeah, I think the best approach would just be to not give her any reason to potentially detach. Yeah. And just, um, not fakely, but just be as nice and loving as possible to her. And, you know, evil it's... isn't, you aren't born with evil tendencies, right? You just, you develop them? I don't know. I don't think I was born stupid, I just chose to be. <laughs> <laughs> it was a choice. It was a conscious was a choice. choice. <laughs> All the choices I made led up to me being this way. So, well, look, Lyra's I could have been like... a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I chose not to be. <laughs> I chose not to be. <laughs> could have been a doctor. Gosh damn it. Um, uh, well, look, but, I mean, uh, Lyra's, she's not like I was. And, you know, I can't, I can't project my personal experience onto other people, but. That's what they tried to do for me. And uh, the one thing, uh, the one cautionary thing I will say is her attachment to uh, the normal chick um, who just kind of siphons her stuff. We have like no attachment to her and she has no attachment to us at this point. 
16 years with her and only five years with Sylvia or whatever, six years with Sylvia, she might have more an attachment to that chick and uh, we might not want to piss her off either. That might be an issue. I'm going to think of this the same way as with the, the Providence. Like, we've got allies over there. We just... Just because something or someone said that it's supposed to all go to hell and there might be a big fight someday doesn't mean I'm going to live my life like that is actually going to happen. Yeah, but, I don't even think I'd know how to live my life like that. You know, I just kind of day by day. I think the safest know. assumption for everybody is to... Like I said, we, we we have no reason to suspect Lyra of anything, and we should try to keep it that way. Yep, yep. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, for telling me, I guess. Just making you aware I, of... T- to be honest, I'm not sure I trust the Proteans either. Oh, yeah, no, especially because they've... I, yeah, I don't... They fucked They're off. very secretive, and now... <clears throat> I feel like if we talk to them now, they'd be a little more afraid of us. Maybe. Not Maybe. afraid, afraid, but a little more like, oh, we were just kind of like playing with y'all, but now, ooh. Yeah. The way I see it, Lyra's here in the fight with us, and they aren't, so. Yeah. yeah. That's what matters yeah. at the end of the day. Although I still want to talk to Gila. So after the 30 minutes you guys have been talking, <laughs> <laughs> there was a, uh, you guys get a call from um, Lady Providence, and she says, um, the soother has successfully returned a primordial to human in the amount of time since we last spoke. Completely? Same, like, yeah, same way or uh, null and void or soulless what? Soulless, still. Soulless. Yeah. But <clears throat> from several days to half an hour, I'd say that is a significant change. Mm-hmm. I believe traveling to these vaults is very beneficial and we should do more in the future after this next um, threat is dealt with. Is she broadcasting this to everybody? Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, just over, overall comms for everybody. Yeah. I prefer doing the vault in the past. To be fair, <laughs> ha ha ha, pretty far. Fair enough. I understand your meaning. In the meantime, if you would all head over to your ship and be prepared to launch an offensive as soon as possible. Right. Yeah. Um. Keep y'all scanners out. Uh. Who's who's the Reapers God? Uh. Starts with an A. Well, well, probably, probably whoever the Reaper's God is, maybe, you know, Reaper, he can bring souls back uh, if we strengthen him. I don't know. See how he feels about it or whatever. But uh, his his primordial um, ancestor is is Abathon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, it was Abathon himself. Yeah. Well, we got to see if there's any uh, Abathon uh, vaults. I think he's the only one. I don't think so. <laughs> I think Which, the vaults were a reaction to everything that happened with the creation of Abathon. Yeah, true. Technically, isn't Abathon, like, since he's kind of my uncle ancestor, I have blood relation to him? Because G. Lacron's my guy, and G. Lacron's brother is Abathon. So yeah, in like, a way. He's like my uncle 800 millionth time, like... <laughs> Yeah, generations back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, which is probably why you were able to <clears throat> become abyssal. Become abyssal, yeah, yeah. Another. All right. Well, um, okay. Well, never mind. I guess that's uh, scrapped. Well, let's go. Let's 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 go kill some some baddies and stuff. Okay. Let's go destroy another planet. Again. We don't know it's a planet. It could just be a floating. We, we blob already of destroyed this planet. We got to fucking do it again. Jesus. <sighs> yes, Lyle, don't half-ass it this time. Really destroy it. Yeah. Also, yeah, yes, Sly. Uh, You're the one also, that fucked up last time. <laughs> yeah. Lady Providence, <laughs> we're the ones that killed the planet that you were like, who killed that planet? We did. <laughs> My fault. There was a, a bomb uh, in one of the vaults that I touched inappropriately. And... Uh... <laughs> And uh, <laughs> suddenly this like massive shaft of light just comes out of nowhere and and fly is just eviscerated. There's nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was us. Uh, secrets or, out. <clears throat> but, uh, mean... but yeah, uh, we'll kill the re... We, 
Yeah, we killed the original, we'll kill the remake. It's fine. Most remakes are terrible anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you talk too um, much, Sly. Kanz have been dead for like a full minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he said it over the comms, and I was like, Lee probably's on the comms right now. And they were like, we don't know who killed the planet. Yeah. <clears throat> and after all that, they're just like, um, <laughs> bye bye. After the touch, the, yeah, destroyed the vault inappropriately, or touched inappropriately, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Um, <laughs> cool. So, um, you guys head over to the preacher. You get yourself prepared for battle. And I guess we go ahead and take our break now, babe. Sure. Seems like yeah, the right yeah. time to do it. Yeah. So Before we begin a big ass fight. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Especially because I only have like an hour and twenty, hour and thirty, forty. Yep. So we'll take a five minute break and we'll be right back, guys. You find yourselves on the newly upgraded, or newly refurbished, well cleaned, completely mopped, uh, uh, preacher ship, which has now been spray painted. Uh, recol- re- renamed um, with whatever Leo decided to rename it with his time. I thought Preacher was fine. I think I probably would have left it as Preacher. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm saying like, no, I think we would have left it with that. So maybe he changed a few of the little fighter ships. Some like dragon emblems on some, some like hawks on others. Yeah, spent like six years just painting. <laughs> Got pretty good at it by the end. <laughs> um. Anyways, so you find yourself on the ship and you begin to head out. You guys hear from the comms. Um, the voice come on, and we begin once again heading towards the abyss. Violence is in our future. I hope you all prepared. Of course. Who is that talking? The technician. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's get ready. All right. You guys begin heading out back through space at the pace that these ships tend to travel, maybe a little bit faster now. And you find yourselves um, seeing some familiar sights, remembering your old approach through the gaseous clouds as you originally headed towards the prophet or through for taxi on eight on the prophet. Sorry, those words just got completely fucked. As you head in that direction, you remember how many years ago it was now to you that you were all on the prophet, just being woken up from cryo training, finding out that you don't do well together as a group, but doing it anyways as team success. You remember Milo, suddenly. And how he came to met his end. As you guys approach, you see something in the distance. Comes up on the monitors all across the ship. You see the large, massive body of flesh and rock and metal. Whatever this thing is, it is black and terrifying. The way that it moves through space is listless, but seems to have purpose. Is it about the size of what Taxion 8 was? Or? It is roughly um, <clears throat> one and a half times the size of your ship, what is currently here. But round. And as you guys begin to approach, Lovin, let's get prepared. Battle stations ready, everyone. There are soldiers running left and right, getting into their their fighter vessels and being prepared to take off. I'm not sure how you guys want to take care of this, but I imagine that you are probably more efficient fighters, not in a ship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, is do we see like any pulsing energy and like protein ver- type energy? You see a lot of energy coming off of it. You're not sure what it is from this distance. It's probably about six sectors away. Still, it's pretty far. 
Well, um, I'm going to try something. Um, can awesome. I just project my image towards the planet to kind of survey it before we actually go? Just, um, <clears throat> you're just going to try to project yourself? Okay. Yeah, and see see through, like... Go ahead and make me a sensory scry check. Alright. 43. Yeah. Um, you find yourself in a sort of spiritual form sitting on the planet, planet quote-unquote, surface. Yeah. Alright. Uh, with the 23 perception, which is actually not too bad for my role... Uh, what do you, I notice? You feel darkness spreading all around you. You see it undulating and moving between mixtures of rock and metal. Whatever this thing is, it seems to be made out of a complete mass of um, what was left of the planet, what was left of the people on the planet, what was left of everything mixed with a massive corpse beast. It is fused into itself. This is a completed corpse beast. Something that should not <clears throat> exist. Destroyer of worlds. Destroyer of worlds, indeed. Should have gotten that the first the, time. This is what the primordial or the proteans originally said that they feared. Mm -hmm. All right, so I kind of come back to and like, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's what we expected. Uh, oh, while I was there, did I notice any protean energy? Um. Not protean, no. Because this would have been fused before the protean energy. Like, this was made before the protean Whatever. fusion. Oh, you mean primordial? Is that what you're talking primordial, about? yeah, yeah, yeah. Primordial yeah. fusion. Um, you don't sense primordial energy. Um, but you do... You're not sure if there is protean energy, because what there might have been was probably absorbed and made abyssal. Um, because that's that's the way it seems to work in the past. Yeah, there, yeah. there was still vault technology on the planet. So it just kind of converted destroyed. it. It's not as you're not crazy. you're not sure. You you okay. really can't perceive it, um, <laughs> but you do recognize this the, the shape and the feel of this entity of this whatever it is. Um, this is probably something very similar to what struck down the prophet. So I come back and I'm like, um, so I don't think we should be too close with the ship. Uh, even with your upgrades, uh, million free fall. Uh, I think what took down the profit was this, but not this, this, but this, you know? Something like it. It's, a, it's its own primordial or abyssal seed ship. Yeah. Uh, so I... I mean, stay at a big distance. Technician dude, you hear that? Uh, don't get too antsy. You really want to keep your distance. Like, max range on the guns. Like, don't get too close. Don't worry, I will take care of this the way <clears throat> I always do when I am in control of any sort of technology. Um, don't know what that means, but I'm right. <laughs> I need to know how you guys are going to... Uh, how so, you guys are going to try to do this. Um, so, you have... Let me, let me give uh, you your assets before we begin this. Um, we basically need a big grav lift because we don't want to touch the surface. <laughs> you um, have 20 small fighters and five large fighters like the one you were in before. Yeah. Um, and then the massive, you know, newly upgraded preacher. Yeah. So it's up uh, to you how you guys want to do this. If you just got to want to get shot out of a cannon at it or what? <laughs> Annika, can you make like a like a land platform that we can just kind of shoot from? Because the whole thing is a corpse beast, so standing on it, some of us could potentially get absorbed or just right. hurt by standing on it. Well, I figure maybe we stand on the ship or one of those fighters. Or do we have any kind of like a like? Kind of like spacewalking, like sort of like jetpack stuff, or. Well, I don't know if you have that or not, but you could certainly make it. Right. <laughs> so um, I'd either say that kind of like yeah, ocean, or just make 
a floating land mass that we can kind of just be on that's not on the planet. I, I will attempt to give all of us these <clears throat> little uh, jetpack thingies that we can navigate with so we, we don't have to stand anywhere. Okay. Um, I will have you know that you do not have Lyra during this fight. <gasps> or uh, like, like they're not. I thought they were on the ship with us. No? They are, but they're going to stay on the ship because Elaine cannot handle the rigors of space. True. Okay. And Lyra's going to stay with Elaine. Yeah, yeah. I forgot I was muted again. Oh. <laughs> You I wanted anything? to ask if I could get a fire extinguisher instead so I could rock it Wally style. <laughs> you just make her shape like a fire extinguisher? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta figure out what I gotta roll here. Since my macros are out of date again. Well, do you want to use abyssal creation or do you want to use the other type of um, I'm much better with the other type. Okay. I just need to find it on my sheet. Skills. This would be would this be sci tech or construct? Sci tech. Um, oh, so I anyway. want <laughs> to uh, try something while she's doing that. Um, Oof. I'm gonna hulk out because I was going to regardless. And um, while I'm hulked out, <clears throat> talk to badass. I'm like, hey. The hive minds are linked based off of a mind that is just very powerful or influential. You're connected to the abysmal plane. If I let you take the wheel, but take my mind control powers, do you think you could communicate or control this? Since I was never that powerful. I don't believe you weren't. But not you not as far it. as controls go. Um, the only thing that can control one of these creatures is an actual hive mind. It's like a beacon. And I believe that the one that is controlling this particular one is on that infiltration mission that we could have gone on. Assuming that they are able to successfully do that faster than we're doing this, the thing might lose intelligence. But save that, I don't think there's any way to stop it via control. Hmm. Well, we know we have to find the cores and destroy those. And does this one about the core of something this large? Yeah. It means destroying the thing itself. It will be at the core of it, yeah. which is solid mass. And penetrating yeah. straight through to it would be solid. I couldn't do it. Abysmal mass or just like it is a mixture of rock, it is a mixture of metal, a mixture of all living things on the planet, and a mixture of pure abyssal. Uh, does this corpse beast look more familiar to you than the Protean corpse beasts? Oh, yes. This is our warship. We would so this... ride okay. within these things. It would create space for us if commanded to. But that there, that is that one is wild. All right. Um, <clears throat> Technician, do we have any sort of communications with the other ship? I can speak to them if you wish, but I think we should focus on the matter at hand. I'm about to get ready. You should all depart, all ships away. Uh, no, 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 don't send your little ships. They're, at this point, they'll just tickle it. Um, but just keep tabs with them and let us know if they succeed their end before we succeed our end. I'll do what I can. In the meantime, the fighter ships are probably going to launch. That was the battle strategy. We won't leave this all to you. All right, well, I mean, we're trying to minimize casualties. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, dead fighters aren't I mean, any good to us, so. so. The fighters are going either way. We should hitch a ride. I did roll a 44 to give us all jetpacks. Yeah, you guys have jetpacks. And they work. <laughs> that would have been a, a <laughs> kicker. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> I'm floating. I'm floating. Um, catch me. Catch me. Catch me. Yeah, he's like, 
<clears throat> Don't worry about casualties. We all know what we signed up for, but we're not going to sit back and let you Gaians take the wheel here. We can hold our own, trust me. Sure thing. Yeah, just let's go of the steering of the big ship. Like, okay, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, we the, ships, our the ships begin to leave. All twenty fighters and all five large ships um, take off and immediately head out in a V pattern. I guess all right. Well, uh, I get on the outside of the ship and I take the strongest leap as I can towards. I was gonna the say, do we have thing. like torpedo tubes, or do we, is it just like? Laser weapon type stuff. You guys are gonna move the same space uh, pace with those on as as the uh, ships do. So I was gonna put, I'd be like, Sly, right here. Here, this is the exit. <laughs> uh, All right. So we, in the V formation, we've got ten on the right, ten on the uh, in stacks, four in front, four in front, and then the five uh, large ships are in a V in the middle, the large ship behind. And then there's three, uh, two rows of three of the small ships behind the row of four small ships on the front. Um, where would you guys like to be in this formation? The... Uh, I'm talking Vanguard. Don't yeah. Know. Okay. So what? who's leading the charge? Sly? Probably me. Yeah. All right. So we got Sly. Um, we have our own V formation technician. V formation? Well, who's, <laughs> who's, who's, who's in the second line then? Because there's five of you total. I'll, I'll go second line to the like the right. Me too. Leo? Okay. Annika? Uh, actually, okay. No, so that actually, there's only four of you. I lied. Mm -hmm. uh, Fernie? Uh, come on. Oh, Fernie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then Fernie. Fernie the jetpack, a, fucking, a tree and a Fernie's jetpack. behind Leo, and then uh, <laughs> Sylvia's behind. <clears throat> Um, Annika. As you guys fly towards the ship, you have quite a bit of distance to move still, but you see the thing is immediately starting to unfurl large tentacle-like things. It looks like an eldritch god, like just moving its tentacles out from its body, sort of lashing them out, being ready for attack. Behind you, you guys feel like a shift of energy as the entire ship begins to transform. Like our old... Or like mm -hmm. <laughs> He was just like drifting backwards, like watching the ship now. Like, <laughs> you guys turn and you see it as it begins to, like, as the, uh, like, the, you know, the, the wing sides and everything begin to part, and you see metal ripping itself apart, but then changing and reforming itself. And you guys see, like, what looks like a massive fucking Gundam. Yeah, I was about to say Gundam wing. Here we come. Form <laughs> behind you as the massive ship, um, with a total height of three miles, forms itself behind you. And then immediately with like hands that actually have the cannons that you recently made, um, ready to fight. Hmm. Well, that's like did a good job. Welcome to the technician's capabilities. Free fall. Why couldn't you do that? I did do that. That's my <laughs> ship. You didn't do that. <laughs> if I didn't. Okay. So, um, as you guys begin to approach, I need to know exactly how you want to do this guys. Um, you just want to fly straight into its space right now. You have about three miles till you get to it, which you can you can do that in two turns. So, do you want to start firing or do you want to approach it? I think we want to try to keep our distance as long as we can. Okay. Uh, well, um, um, of course, I know that I'm... range wise, the only people that can hit it accurately would be uh, Leo, Leo and, and Sly. Sly. Yeah. Uh, well, since it's a free turn, essentially, of course, I'm going to be an idiot and uh, with a 36, try and see if I can get a read on who's controlling it, what's controlling it, what is You going don't on. feel anything coming from it whatsoever. As in I couldn't penetrate or there's just, it's just, it's not even being controlled. It's a mind of its own. It seems like it's immune. Oh, all right. Bum, bum, bum. I still got that, um. What was it called? That big giant bomb thing? Squad Buster. I still have a Squad Buster. From, like, episode six. I'm pretty sure that does, like, D12 damage, so... <laughs> it, it just kind of, like... Me. Um, I look at... Uh, look behind it. Pretty fun, like, yeah, well, you want to start shooting? Since you got your spear and I got my... My infinite shooting bow. I'm just gonna have you guys roll initiative now. I was like, "What? What am I throwing at?" <laughs> Forty-four. Um, 
I kind of look at him like, well, so Badass said there's not multiple cores for something this big. It's just one big fused core. Well, that was really low. Okay. Uh-huh. I didn't hit roll. Yep. Yeah. Gagner, yeah, that uh-huh was to one big core. You don't know. That's what I'm okay, assuming. Well, now I'm like, uh, free of all, use your visor, see if you can see any, uh, if there's multiple cores on externally. I'm pretty sure we're still too far away. We're just like looking through the visor like, uh, do it's I see too, any glowy spots? Like, It's two miles away. I figured, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's something, <laughs> something, something's probably glowing all over the damn thing. It looks like a big mass of black glowing in your face. Like you yeah, see like, the energy like whipping off of it. Like it's yeah. like it's its own small sun of energy. Uh, well, if that changes, if you start noticing any actual cores. All right. Uh, so what's what's my initiative not, list? Uh, I did Sly, forty-four. Then me with a forty-one. I feel like I should re-roll oh, wait. mine. I need... Hey. Um, there might I mean, be more important rolls later. All seven, four, oh, God. No. No. Fernie. 17. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll, I'll stick with it. Leo's so 31. And then... Oh, okay. Sylvia is a 25. And Fernie is a 17. Okay. Ooh, this is the order we roll. So, Sly, oh. you get to go first. And the fighters are going to go... Oh. Before Sly. No, before Nikita. Uh, After Leo. All right. Um, so official order is Sly, Annika, Taxi on 8. Well, let's see uh, here. What is... Short of shooting my bow, which has all sorts of cool... Things it can do, damage wise, not so much. Uh, I think that's the only thing I can really do. Is that so? Um, oh, wrong sheet. I'm like, why? Where's my stuff? So I guess I'll chaos strike with my bow. Um, okay. So it's a 85, 95 to hit. All right, let me go 95 to hit. Yeah. But imagine it's not going to dodge much. <laughs> okay. Just holes appear in the straight <laughs> through, and it's like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you fire at the thing, and suddenly it's gone. Like before it gets to it? My before arms? it gets to it, the thing is gone, and then suddenly big huge pulse of energy and it's directly in front of you. Oh great. The the taxi planet eight. thing? Yeah. The planet. The corpse beast. Well good thing I get to attack again. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if it's that close then I'm gonna chaos strike with my swordy swords then. Yeah, uh, you, you're looking at like three miles of just meat and energy just pulsing. I guess I'm going to just hack into the first meaty fly, part I can... you do? <laughs> you just fly jets forward and immediately strikes at it. Go for it. Uh, yeah, 81. Uh, 81? To hit, yeah. Let me look at its agility. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not the worst. How does it have any agility? <laughs> I mean, it's got a lot. It just did like a, a little shadow move, you know, and it was right in front of you now. All right, it rolled a 31. <laughs> so I definitely, I double hit. What'd you hit it? What, what was your total? 70, 70, uh, no, 81. <clears throat> 81, okay. So you strike it. And how much does your chain lightning do chaining against it? Oh, goddamn. I only did 49 base damage, and then the lightning, it would just be uh, 2 times 40, or 4 to 2 to the 10. So, yeah, it'd be 80. 80 damage of lightning and 49 of just actual impact. Uh, you do 154 total points of damage. 
as it rips the lightning starts like trickling across its its massive form <laughs> it does it is a tickle yeah, yeah um let's see what you guys got so make it my turn mm, yeah all right, so the first thing I do is activate the four-corner defense. One health point per round, guys. <laughs> but <laughs> but it blocks damage from six planes. So it blocks damage for everything in front of it from this distance, which is very good, yeah. considering what it's about to do. Yeah, so I'm Annika. Like, I position myself like a shield, anything within five feet of me. So that's definitely Leo and, and Sylvia right now. I guess Sly's probably out front, but maybe he's... Sly's out front, yeah. 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 I don't know. Is it is it five feet like a bubble, or is it just five feet like a shield behind me? It... Shield in front of you. Well, okay. Um, so I do that. It makes it makes like a big, huge, like circular, like dome and like half dome in front of you. Right. So it's a five foot radius, right? Mm -hmm. So Sly could be five feet ahead of me and still be protected. He's more than five feet ahead of you. Okay, well, I'm going to... He ran to do melee with it, so... How, how far ahead of me is all of this? The thing itself is probably about 400 feet away. Oh, okay, well... Um, <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just going to... I'm going to move with Sylvia, like, as... Okay, so you've got Sylvia protected, and um, Leo, and Leo probably too. protected as well. Yeah. Um, Ernie's just like, ah, ready to go. But I can't really do a I whole... I love you, master. I can't really do a whole lot from 400 feet away. That doesn't involve my power. So. Yeah. This is a space battle with a power time. Density. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to try to just open up like a hole in it. Um, with my regular physical ability. Okay. You're opening up a hole in its form, right? Yeah. Which means you're going to go versus its constitution. Oh boy, what's that? Well, I can't roll it myself. It'll take too long, so I'm going to have to roll it in here. <laughs> oh boy. That's not going to go well then. Just a wee bit. Is that the right numbers? How I do I do so. DM rolls again? Do I just do slash DM roll? Maybe. I rolled a 50. Mm. Nah. <laughs> he goes, it's already got 50 dice. You can't roll lower than that. Yeah. 677. We can see that too, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right. Well, I assume nothing happens then. You start to try to make a hole, and like a tiny little itty bitty thing appears right in the center of it, but it just does so little it does no damage to it. But okay. a small hole starts to form. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess that's my turn. Yep. Um, that's gonna put us at its turn. As it starts to, as you start to form a hole in it, you see like it sort of its tentacles start moving out. And then you see like small holes start appearing all over it. And then suddenly something comes flying out of it from all over the entire mass of it. it starts flying forward. Um, that's going to be for each target. I think it just tried to sneeze on us. <laughs> um, for Sly. <laughs> uh, it's 20 damage at you, Sly, as corpses start f flying at you. No dodging at all? Like bullets. Nope, it's 20 damage at you. You still get your wound soaked, though. It's it's a blanket effect. Um, Annika, Leo, and uh, Sylvia are covered. Uh, Fernie, 40. Well, where's Fernie at? Outside of back. it. Well, he, cause wasn't he with Sylvia? Yeah, he, he's with Sylvia. He can't, no, he's on, um, he's on the other side of Leo. And I thought oh, he was yeah. charging forward. I'd imagine after the, the Vanguard, the V, they kind of formed grouped up. up. Yeah. That was my plan. Yeah. I just all right, for sure. There. Then we won't do the 40 damage to him. Um, but it's going to start hitting all the other ships. That's four, 
Six. Um, you guys immediately lose um, four fighters. Man, maybe I should have retrofitted those things instead. <laughs> And then he's going to take... Uh, somebody roll me a D100. What do you eat? Okay. And as bodies start pelting into the massive Gundam-like form of the Preacher, it takes damage as well. That is going to put us at uh, Leo's turn. Um. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the starting just to see what happens. I'm just gonna chuck it for the center of the the mass, just as whatever I can kind of picture as the very center of it. Just. <laughs> for twenty three. On, whatever plane two is. Uh, that's higher plane. plane. Yep, and you do 23 points of damage. Just like, <laughs> tink! And like, eh, guys? Yeah. I'm just going to put us at, uh, unless you're doing something else, you do doing anything else? Uh, that's all I got for now. Alright, um, Sylvia. Oh, I'm sorry, the fighters go. I forgot about the fighters. Um, fighters... Um, go ahead and roll me. Um, twenty D one hundred. Would anyone like that? Go for it. Sure, I usually have <laughs> decent rolls. I was that. like, <laughs> one thousand one hundred and twenty nine. That's pretty good. The ships uh, start firing with these newly equipped weapons um, and do 1,129 points of damage to the entity. Um, now it is Sylvia's turn. Can you see I them just... sort of spread out and start flying and zipping around the thing and just start firing from all sides. You see ships sortier and fly everywhere. And then what are you doing? So, yeah. so we have uh, the defense right now mm -hmm. from Sim. You're currently protected behind... behind. Uh, if you yeah, stay within five feet of me on your turn, then you will be protected during the next bad guy's attack. Interesting. Okay. I want to try the hound. I don't want to bite it. If I can do that from staying here, right? Yes. Yeah, you send the hound forward. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna go bite the hound. Give the hound a uh, little jetpack. <laughs> um, now the jets and stuff. Okay, you can you can take you can't steal a power, but you can copy a power because okay. its power is so immense that it can't be taken. So, okay. um, roll a d3. I got a three. Three. Okay. Um, you're not sure what the ability was, it, because it, but, um, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like your, your, your wolf just sits there and looks like it's sort of made out of the same material, but you're not sure what sort of ability that it, it, it has for sure. Okay. So I can yeah, use that, that next was, turn, right? Yeah, but that's a, like a weird one, you know? Okay. So... <laughs> All right. I think that makes it uh, Groot. Uh, it is indeed Fernie's turn. Fernie. So Fernie, with his uh, nature prowess, first tries to see if he can. <clears throat> he'll, uh, for 400 feet, endlessly, uh, extend a hand out and, um, like, just make contact with uh, the planet or whatever and try and see if 
there's a potential for him to communicate with any of the uh, previous life forms to maybe get them to separate themselves. Um, that's an interesting idea. So go ahead and roll me Fernie's um, skill check for that intelligence, willpower, and... Yeah. Thirty-one only. It's not terrible. It's not uh, thirty-one. Uh, roll me d one hundred. Fifty. Um, so bits and flecks of it start peeling off. Um, but you see that black energy starts pouring over him and starts overtaking his body uh, along the. The arm that is extended yeah. to 400 feet. Well, well, as soon as, I mean, it has 400 feet to go. So as soon as he starts feeling that, you know, he detaches that arm. Detaches <laughs> the arm. Yeah. So he detaches <laughs> the arm, and there's this like big black spike now <laughs> sticking out of the front of it. 400 foot long spike sticking out of the front of it. <laughs> it's a random old spike. Um, All right. Well, I guess that uh, takes up his turn. So is it back to me? It's going to be back at the fly. All right. Um, so, uh, is there still a hole in it? Um, there's still that small hole that that uh, Anakin made. The rest of it has... Okay. Um, well, do... Material-wise, do I get the sense that I could kind of swim in this? Like it's an oil or it's biomass? Um, right now, it's a big gaping hole with nothing but space. And no, 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 no. I mean, like the actual, the 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 fleshy stuff. Is That's it more... definitely solid. Totally solid. All right. Well, I go towards the hole and uh, I start like spinning my shit, like I'm trying to drill a hole to the center of the core. Okay. Just make your attack. All right. So the first uh, thing is a ninety-two uh, to hit. Ninety-two to hit. Mm. Okay. You rolled a forty-seven. All right, and uh, eighty-four damage with another uh, eighty lightning. Damn. <laughs> And then I do it again for my second attack, and I'm as like as I'm chunking the flesh off, my movement will be just progressing uh, forward as I'm burrowing into it. Okay. Uh, so my next attack is a uh, eighty, no seventy nine to hit. Okay. It hits? No. Yeah, it definitely hits. Uh, uh, 59 plus another 80 lightning. So. Okay. You did 184 and 164 points of damage. Yeah. Do I? Uh, am I like? Was I able to make ground into the? Yeah. You. You. You went like another 20 feet deep. In a three mile deep <laughs> thing. Progress. Um, but you guys watch as he sort of starts burrowing in and you see lightning just like flying out of this hole that Annika had started. Annika, it is your turn. Right. So I'm going to activate Leith's overclock and bring up the Foxfire Tails. And um, I think the damage on that is the same 60, 12. Yeah. So, so 37? Fire one off. Okay. Um, is that my whole turn? Or is that... No, that's just what that's the like armor a, does. Yeah, okay. Uh, so for the rest of my turn... I'm still not sure. <laughs> um, can, I, can I still see Sly like as he's burrowing into this thing? Yeah. I, oh, I forgot to take the preacher's turn. Oh, well. Transformation sickness. 
Um, Took him a turn to get level. Just give him two turns next time. Uh, I'm going to try to, oops, basically give him his own four corner defense. I know that sounds like it's probably going to have a really high threshold, but basically just copy the shield around us and give it, give Sly his own version. Okay. Make your roll. 52. I got three 12s. 52. Yeah, you've got one, and roll a d6 for how many planes it'll protect from. Four. Okay. You have a shield in front of you, Sly. It will, it will, you are basically inside this thing, so it won't protect you from much <laughs> while you're inside of it. I feel like if it does attack you, it. it's going to be from everywhere. <laughs> I was about to say, I mean, I feel like it, it has to, like, I don't know. Like, it's not a, since I'm inside of it, it has to do its own thing to me, specifically. Well, yeah. That's that. Okay. Um, that's going to put us at Taxi on 8's turn. Uh, so Taxi on 8 is going to, with its tentacles, swipe, 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 swipe. Um... Which is. I need everybody to make a dodge check. It's just agility dodge, right? Mm hmm. Ew, it's low as shit. <clears throat> <laughs> With three less D12s, I almost got used to it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, for the potential of what I could have got, that is so bad. <clears throat> I feel like your dodge should be higher, Nikita. Do you um, not have the actual ability dodge? My agility is d12 plus d6, and my dodge is d12. Your base agility is only d12, d6? Yep. Her vitality is incredibly high. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so it rolled a 52 to hit you guys. So it hits us all. Yeah. Um, but as it strikes against the front of the shield, it... Does, you guys don't take damage to the guys that are within the shield. Because it is a frontal attack. Um, however, Sly, 52 at you. Does it hit? Yeah, by 16. By 16? Okay, you take 70, 12 damage. Do so I roll that or do you roll that? No, I'm rolling it. Uh, it's pretty good. For you, not for it. Damn, this is low. Only 700 points of damage. 35. Okay, 35. And does the four-corner defense take out any of that? No, just your wound soak does. Okay, so 22, 23. Yeah, so a spikes just twist around from inside and start striking at you. Um, the rest of you um, seem to be okay. It takes out three or two fighters and damages three of the big ships. And I need somebody to roll 15d100 for how much damage it does against the main ship. I you rolled pretty well last time, Schneider. Like... No, I did it. No, oh, that's not bad. 872? Yeah. Okay. So over half again. You don't want it to be over half. This is what's happening to your guys' ship. Uh oh. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> well, I got lots of, like, 30s and 20s and stuff. All right. Now I'm going to figure out what our HP is at before I move on. Well, I had 15,000, so. No, I mean the enemy ship. Yeah, we don't know how much HP the enemy had, right? But it has a yeah. ridiculously no. high constitution because it rolled 677. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Math. 
and then I'm going to figure out the other one. You guys have done lots of damage in small amounts to it. I'm trying to think what I'm doing on my turn. I'm like, eh. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could always speed up the ship fighter ship damage to shoot multiple times again. Was a good trick. Or the Gundam. We just don't know oh. the damage of the Gundam yet because we haven't seen it attack. <clears throat> okay. So that's going to put us at um, Leo's turn. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll try that. Let's see if I can speed up the, the guns on the Gundam. Just, like, speed up its initiative? Uh, so, like, so hopefully it could maybe get, like, two attacks off or whatever in the same amount of time or whatever. I don't know. Again, I don't know exactly the, the capabilities of this. I gotcha. Yeah, see if you can give it, like, haste, more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. Cause that's what happened with the guns on the tower. We made it attack, like, two extra times or some shit. All right, so I need physical ability. Get that one. So many dice. What's the D eight? A forty four. Forty four. Um, yeah, I can attack twice this turn. Um, so that probably takes. Yeah, most of my your... big time manipulation takes my entire turn. Yeah. Um. Cool. So that's gonna put us at the fighter's turn. Uh, I need you to roll. Uh, eighteen D twenty or D one hundred. Damn, that's pretty good. That over half threshold. Seems good to me. What's that? One of them was a one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Regrets. Um, cool. So it takes another 916 points of damage from the fighters sortieing around it. As this massive space battle is going down, you see these ships just like flying around, explosions coming off left and right, the tentacles flaring around, slides inside, tearing it to pieces. Um, and then we go to uh, Sylvia's turn. Hi. Obviously, I'm going to use the hawk on it. Okay. Um, you start to send the hawk, and the hawk goes. <sniffs> so it it has major warp. So go ahead and write that on your sheet. It can you can place the hawk anywhere on the battlefield. So like that's that's what it does, you know. So it's not damaging, but it can. Right. Go anywhere now. What's the difference between that and teleportation? Um, major warp is different than teleportation in in that it it's not really <laughs> <laughs> it basically it has very helpful thank you yeah. i understand yeah. all of the mechanics now and what i can do with this yeah it's basically teleportation but major major warp is 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 the type of movement that uh, uh that nobles have they have warp this one has major warp which lets it travel a much larger distance yeah, basically, whenever I shot it, and it appeared in front of us. That was yeah. Warp. So. Okay. So we you can... can teleport to but the can it... Now can it warp, since it has major warp, like, more than just itself? Like, could it warp us? Yeah, if you, if you landed on somebody's shoulder, you could warp them if you wanted to. Well, I only get one turn with Hydra, right? I'm sorry, not Hawk. With, next with Hawk? No, you can keep Hawk as long as you want. Oh. Yeah, it's just when you shift over to Hydra, it starts over again. After the one turn you get with Hydra. Okay. So you get one bite and one Hydra, but you get however long you, you want. To yeah, however long you want to use the power from the Hawk, you can do it. Okay. Don't really know what good this does to me. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment it was a bad ability to grab <laughs> yeah. at least it, well it only has one offensive ability that isn't just a hitting shit no. which is the which is like the corpse mm -hmm. unless you can warp warp me directly to the core 
You'd have to know the location, so. The center. Otherwise, you're just inside it. <laughs> and then you're, and then you're going to take its vitality and damage every turn. Uh, a, a thousand damage? Uh, I believe it's 110 D12. Hmm. Yeah, so death. Uh, that's pretty much instant death, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you want oh, to do no, it, already, it, I've already been inside of one, and... Yes, but this this is this isn't just like abyssal corpse beast. This is an entire planet corpse beast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> while, while I'm hacking away, um, just a side note: with a twenty six perception, um, do I notice any uh, uh, primordial or protean uh, objects from the remaining vault? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see what it has? With a twenty six perception. Looks like a big, massive black thing. Yeah, twenty six is good for what we have. So. Yes, but you're trying to look for a tiny little object on a three mile wide, massive. Well, no, I'm talking about as I'm hacking away, like in my in, 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 the, in the in the twenty foot hole that you've made in three miles. Yeah. Uh, if there was a luck check, I'd have you roll that. But I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Damn. <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who needs to go um, vault breaking? What did you want to do, Sylvia? Uh, can I use my cantaloupe? Uh, oh, is it is it the cantaloupe version? I don't remember what that does. So you have to. Tell she me what has to one of each fruit on her belt. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I need to so know what the cantaloupe. So cantaloupe, does. the assassin. Undertaker, an entity of your choice deals double damage for three D four rounds. So I want to use that on the Gundam, right? Sure. Yeah. Damn. yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> Man, so, they're gonna be so full of themselves when they're like, "We want to shot right? that thing." Yeah, we. <laughs> you guys um, that's, a, that's probably the most game changing. I mean, that's that's that was the name of the traveler. He was the game changer. So yeah, yeah. um, do it. How is it, how many rounds is it? Uh, three D four. So, um, wish me luck. So, yeah, six, six rounds. I'll take it. Six rounds. Oh, so that's so, gonna be six attacks. So, so what is it? It does double damage for six attacks. Double yeah. damage. Yep. But is it six rounds or six attacks? It's gonna be six attacks. Because I also sped it up. We'll yeah, he these. sped it up. So per round, it's getting two attacks. It's getting two attacks. Yeah. I mean, technically, it does say rounds. Yes, but uh, I'm I'm not allowing it <laughs> because, <laughs> because because he sped up time I'm... on it. It's basically doing two rounds at once. Okay, okay. Yeah. Two okay. exertions. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. All right. And because yeah, and I don't want to. He doesn't want to die in like one. Volume. I created this huge big boss, and again, again, <laughs> go kill it. Um. So I want you to go. Okay, so that was your turn. Uh, it's Fernie's turn. All right, That's so um, good. That's so good. <laughs> so, Fernie, um, nobody's hurt yet, right? I don't think so. Um, mm. None of you guys are hurt. Well, you are. Yeah, yeah, but he can't do anything 400 feet away. 420 feet away. Um, so, what Fernie's going to do is... Um, shit. I don't know. Um, he's going to, uh, with his good arm, uh, make it grow uh, mm -hmm. insurmountably to form a shield that the Gundam can hold. Uh, it's going to take a couple of turns, but go ahead and make growth for me. <laughs> do, do your... Yeah. 40. 40? Okay, so it's going to have 40 wound soak. All right. And so this massive shield starting to form is going to take him two turns to do it, though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Fernie can't really do much. If he touches it, he gets corrupted. Yeah. Um, so that's going to put us at da, me. Da, 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 the preacher's turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, somebody roll. Dear God. 
24 D100 twice. So <laughs> just go ahead and do 48 D100. 48 D100. Boop. 2,335 damage. Just under the mm -hmm. half threshold. Well, I'm saying, like, should I reroll it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the extra damage potential could be thousands. It could also be less. <laughs> less. It could also go down by thousands. Yeah, but he's got a lot of rerolls. <laughs> eh, there's one reroll. Okay, an extra hundred. Why not? Uh, 150. Well, 47. So 2482. Yeah, an extra 147 from last. Okay, you did 2482 damage with. Uh, you guys watch as the Gundam just takes its <laughs> massive cannons fire, and he does fucking shit ton of damage. Um. Yeah, <clears throat> that happened. Everybody say thank you to the cantaloupe that sacrificed its <laughs> life for this. Thank to happen. you, cantaloupe. <laughs> um, that's gonna put us at Sly's turn. All right. So um, for less damage purposes, but for more drilling purposes, um, I'm going to just do a shut the fuck up. Hey, babe. How long does the uh, four corner defense last? Uh, it doesn't. Say. Well, I would say it's a it's the same as a overclock. So for me, it's four rounds, but she didn't roll any. Uh, well, my overclocks her. don't have a time limit either. Yeah, all like, overclocks have a time limit. Well, it, okay, so it's not written on my sheet. So I think it's like D six rounds for and like D and then ten round cooldown from activation time or something. So what do you want to say the four corner defense is? So roll a D six. Six rounds. Six rounds. Okay. We've had two. Yeah, we've had two. Okay, I just wanted to know. Uh, Sly, what are you doing? Um, so uh, I am going to do in a my use my bizzle and uh, just flamethrower a, a path towards the center. Okay, make your attack roll with uh, bizzle flame. Should be yeah. uh, vitality, willpower, and your uh, uh, bizzle power. All right. Ooh, double twelves. All right, so four. All right. Fifty nine. It hardens on the inside as you begin to shoot your flames. You do no damage. It rolled a 65. And I rolled a 50 fucking 9. Yeah. Well, that's one attack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard now? Or it just hardened while that I was, did it? That was what I was saying. It was just an agility check. So. All right. So I'm just going to... I'm going to not learn my lesson and do it again for 59. What the fuck? <laughs> but well, hopefully it has, to, roll it has to roll again. again. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it's not another 65. 14. 34. 45. 45. 51. God damn it. 59. Who exactly even. The defender. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> so as it hardens, you fire and it just continues to harden. Do no damage. <laughs> Can't even make that shit up, man. It's bullshit. All right, well, uh, I guess that's my turn. But if it's hardened, then it can't uh, jelly hit me, so... Yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Okay, that's going to put us at whose turn? Whose turn? Whose turn? Whose turn? Whose turn? Whose turn? Annika's turn. Uh, so, since I'm still completely useless, aside from healing people, I guess, at this distance, I'm going to attempt to overload. So. Uh... 
Is that like overclocking where you can't control your shit? This is what I did to kill Brandon Vax. Okay. So you can uh, kind of control your shit. Plus Groovy. Power. It's still scary shit. Yeah. 5010 plus... Wait. Five. Not two. Five. Okay, that's significantly more. And then willpower. What's my willpower at these days? Okay. I'm assuming this is going to fail because it's versus his... Something? Mental resistance, I think? His mental resistance? Yeah. So if my roll is higher than his mental resistance, then he has a random ability overload and inflict it upon himself. Okay. I Otherwise, it's just shut down for X amount of rounds, right? Uh, um, yes. So... Uh... Yeah, no. No, I didn't figure. Um, but you still shut down a power for X amount of rounds, so roll a D100, or mm, uh, D3. Yeah, it says for the difference. Yeah, I thought that only mattered if I rolled higher. No, if you roll lower, then it still shuts down the power, just doesn't make it happen to him. Okay, I rolled a 1. You rolled a 1? Yeah. Okay, he cannot warp. I thought warp was 3. Yeah. No. Three was I'm what you doing do. it. I'm doing it different every time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yes. So, so you're changing it as you want it to be? No. It's just the other, right. the original three for her would have done nothing. Literally nothing. Because it's not anything that, that would have done anything. So I was like, okay, well, what's the opposite side? What's three if I go the other way? Doesn't matter. Um, so, trying to be helpful here, guys. <laughs> All right, so I use overload. That happened, and um, I think that's that's it, right? I'm gonna, mm -hmm. yeah. We've got four more rounds of this shield up, so stay. Back. Okay, and you do damage with the foxfire. Oh, that's right, foxfire twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, um, it is now Taxion eight's turn. It is gonna flop, 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 flop. Ooh, that's nineteen. That's twenty-six. Ooh. Oh, bam! That sucks. That's. That's fifty. So that's gonna. It takes out three of the large ships and two of the small ships completely, reducing their damage. And then I need somebody to roll 15d100 for what it does to the main ship. Uh, Sylvia. <laughs> Shut <laughs> uh -oh. Noises. Now? Why was my name said? Roll a 50D1, or 15d100. Somebody. Anybody. Eight nineteen. All right. Takes the your guys' ship takes eight hundred and nineteen points of damage. Um that's gonna put us at it attacking each of you. Sly fifty was the attack at you. To dodge, or that's the damage. That's the that's the to dodge. All right. Let's see what was my dodge roll. Uh, that moment when you realize your foot's falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, fifty-eight. Haha. <laughs> okay, you definitely dodge out of the way. The uh, four-corner defense, fake four-corner defense that has formed around you sort of blocks some of the blows from the other side while you dodge it around and press yourself against it, sort of just narrowly escaping the attack. Um, Cool. That's going to put us at... Leo. Mm, okay. Um... 
How many little ships do we have left? Thirteen. And then how many? I guess the one's thirteen. You have thirteen total ships left. All little ships in? Or we... There's two large ships out of those. Okay. Let's see. How many mine points do I have? I'm going to say... Do that. Just, sorry, I'm just doing some quick math. Uh, I'm going to use 30 of my mine points. Oh, snap. To make uh, evisceration last for three rounds. Okay, and what does that do? Uh, weakens the target... Eh, just let me scroll this up so I can read it. Uh, affecting their ability to hurt others. Reduce the target's damage and attack rolls by a roll of 2d12 steps. This can be aced. 2d12. That doesn't seem right. Oh, no, that, yeah. that is. because 2d12 uh, yeah. steps and yeah, it can yeah. be aced. That's pretty huge. Mm. Minus 13 steps is pretty good. I'm going to reroll that. Fuck! 13 steps. All right, so that takes his 7d12 attacks down to... Um, and this is what it does to you. It still does the same stuff to the ships, unfortunately. Um, but that's going to be 7d12 minus 2d12. Uh, so in the d2. So it's going to be 5, 4d12 and a d10. That's significantly less damage. <laughs> As opposed to 7d12 being what it did. Now it does 4d12 and a d2 for three rounds against you. So, guys. so I'm just there, like mumbling. Okay. Um, anything else you're doing on your turn? Using words doesn't take the whole turn. Um, I will, in that case, chuck a spear, like just past Sly's like, head, just like wherever just he's straight there, to the just, like, okay. just like right <laughs> in front of him. Uh, how much damage? Just uh, yeah. twenty-two on uh, third plane. Okay, so abyssal. So no, no change. All right, uh, chunk disappears. Cool. I'm gonna calculate his damage before we do the. F Actually, I'll do the fighters, and then I'll do his damage. Okay, uh, fighters. For the fighters, I need you to roll me a. Yeah, 13 D12, or D100, 13 D100 against him. Nobody wants to fuck it up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like, no one, everyone's like, mm, mm, mm. 514, all right. Hey guys, that's, that's, that's massive amounts of damage you guys wouldn't have had. Mm -hmm. If if you if you were gonna go out there fighting this thing without those ships, so yes, they're dying. Lots of people are dying, but mm -hmm. you guys all would have been fucked if you tried to fight it by yourself. Oh, for sure. ah, we would have figured it out. No, you wouldn't have, because all of the damage that was having it do to the ships, it would have just been doing to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, it's gonna start working around your stupid shit. <laughs> Never. Um, it, it will because it, once once the ships are gone, it's gonna start. Now that it, just make a whole box of four corner defenses, like hey, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now that now that nearly half of them are gone, uh, Sylvia. Uh, huh. Okay, actually, I will calculate its current health. I guess I'll put it in the Hydra. Okay. You just got to remember exactly all the abilities you have. I, I have a list. Because you can use any of them. Yeah. I, I thought it used sure. all of them. No, does it use all of them? Yeah, it uses all of them. No. Oh, At one know. time. 
Yeah, you guys are doing shit talk to me. <clears throat> well, theoretically, you can like infinitely do a million abilities in one hit. I don't know if they overlap. Do they? Yeah. What? Or is it just like they're all on the table? They they all happen. It fires with everything that you've eaten as one thing. So. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm not sure. I'll have to go pick up your sheet to find out exactly what it does at this point. Yeah. What have you eaten? What have you eaten? I have uh, fire from Sly, teleportation from Max. Uh, Sly, what's your, from Aries, what's your fire Fox damage? Um, I don't think you ever gave me an abysmal flame oh, damage. Well, it's, I think it's like 60-12. Yeah. So we got 60-12. And 60-12. So that's 12-12. Um, you can teleport. You can major warp. And 40-12 from the plasma. So that's 16-D-12. And you're going to... It's going to cost you about 30 MP to fire it. 30 mine points. So you can teleport wherever you want to fire it. And you don't have to roll to hit. Because it will hit. Because okay. because of the major warp, you literally warp the attack into the creature. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. So just roll damage. Uh, what am I rolling exactly? Sixteen d twelve. Ah, fucked up. Which is quite a lot of damage. 121. It's not bad. Okay. That'll take your whole turn, though. Uh, yeah. Fernie's turn. You guys uh, watch though, as she like, creates this massive like arm cannon thing. You know, it's got it's like black but metal, and as it fl fires up, you like see just several types of energy, like green flames, um, the fox fire energy. And then, like, this sort of plasma just form into the single beam that rockets towards the thing and carves a big gash in it. I also have a question. How much um, uh, points does it cost to do Hounded Hydra? Oh, uh, to do Hound, it should be five. Okay. But the, the Hydra just costs you uh, 30 points, and you can use the Hawk freely. Okay, so it was 35 total. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is second turn for Fernie building a shield. Okay, so he successfully builds a shield, which plops itself onto the uh, ye old large Gundam. Gundam. Now he's got a shield and a cannon. <laughs> uh, so that's good. And then now it's the Gundam's turn. Yep, go ahead and roll fucking 48 D100. Four D eight D one hundred. Hey, there's a hundred in there. That was on the lower threshold. You don't have rerolls though. No. <clears throat> Two thousand one hundred and forty-four. That's a lot of fucking damage, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna have to start focusing its attack. All right, so now it's me. Um, let's see here. So, uh, when the description says target loses one power point, uh, does a creature like this have power points? <clears throat> uh, this one, no. So that wouldn't do anything. Um, uh, 
But I can make it stop from hitting ace rolls. General I think highly unlikely. That's even going to hit aces anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep blitzing. All right. Uh, well, after my failed uh, fire go, um, first I'm going to shoot my bow again now that I'm this close just to see what happens. <clears throat> uh, 50 to hit. 50 to hit? Mm hmm. Um, it can dodge that. 13. 33. Nope. You definitely hit. All right. So. By 10. Uh, I think it was just 40, 12. I don't know what happened to my bow. I think it was just 4d12, though. Damage. <clears throat> 4d12, so it does 37 on the fifth plane. 37, so double damage. Um, so, so 74 on the fifth plane. 74. And uh, then I will... Just after I notice that it doesn't do anything different, I'm like, all right, well, I'll just go back to attacking normal. Um, do Chaos Strike, 86 uh, to hit. 86. Uh, that's 21, 31, 39, 64. Yep. All right. Uh, hit it for sixty-three, and then eighty electrocute damage. Eighty reverberating electricity damage. One hundred and forty-nine points of damage. Okay. Um, that's going to put us at Annika. Um. So, I. How many fires do we have left? How many fighters? Yeah. Uh, 13 fighters currently. Okay, that seems like a lot. Uh, I'm just going to pick, like, the nearest six. And I'm going to attempt to conjure defenses for them as well. Okay. Forty-nine. All right, you get it on four of them. Okay. It'll soak one attack. Oh, okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Uh, <laughs> on those four. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then I do the fox fire. Okay. And I believe we have two rounds left, or is this? this yeah, is... four corner. Yeah. After this round, you have two left. Right. So okay. I rolled 49 on my Fox Fire damage. Cool. That's going to put us at Taxi on 8's turn. Being very annoyed by the way you guys behave, you do see the attack is now coming from behind. and need all of you to make a defense check as the tentacle whips around and attacks you from the reverse side. I need you all to roll dodge. Hey, everybody. It's tagging me as well. Yeah. Yeah. 50. Uh, I'm rerolling mine. 39. That's a lot better. It's four rerolls. You have seven per session. What? 10. Uh oh. <laughs> you uh, messed up. Yeah, that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, you didn't put a space between, or you didn't put a plus. <laughs> And you said 2D1. I don't know what you did. 2D1. I, I type it, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. My boat. Uh, it's a 48 to hit you guys. So I dodge it. Do we even bother rolling? There's no way I'm going to get that. 
<laughs> you could ace. <laughs> That's half the ace. No, not even. Never mind. Okay. So, what did you guys roll for your defense checks? It is everybody but me. Oh, wait. Okay. So, it hits everybody but me, and it hits Fernie. And it hits Fernie? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, tell me the difference between a 48 and your roll, so I can write that down. Uh, it doubles uh, Fernie's um, and... It like quadruples the Kita. <laughs> and it's less than half on it Leo and Annika. 18 more than mine. I got a 30. Yeah, 18 yeah. more than yours? And 18, then 9 for Leo. 9 more, yeah. But 4 times Nikita and 2 times uh, Fernie. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, it rolled anybody, real high. Does anybody remember how much the uh, last Ouch. attack under the saw did? I it didn't, did didn't hit you. It didn't hit you. No, it just attacked me. Me and the shit. Never mind then. Yeah, we haven't been hit yet. <laughs> and all three of us get knocked down. Uh, it's going to be bad. Because mm -hmm. I just rolled real high. Um, okay, Leo, you take 52 points of damage. Minus uh, whatever your wood soak is. Yeah, so I take 40 points of damage. Um, Annika, you take 56. Minus whatever your wound soak is. 45. Uh, Sylvia, you take 65. Minus whatever your wound soak is. <laughs> I mean, you have higher wound soak than everybody else, though. If so. I'd got a hit for that amount on, that she just got a hit for, no, with the wound soak, I still would have been standing, but barely. Yeah, I'm right. still hacking close to dead. It's okay. Did you you cover one wound per round with my defense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, for what, three more rounds? Two more rounds. Okay. And two more hit points. Fernie back. takes 59 points of damage minus whatever his wound soak is. Uh, I don't think you gave him a natural wound, so... It's his hockey. Yeah, that's right. Uh... So fun, guys. <laughs> maths! Maths, 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 no, maths, maths, maths! You don't... It, uh, I mean, I guess his hockey is just his, his psionics, which would be 12. Or is it something that I'm not sure of? Just, yeah, just remove 12. That's fine. And it That's was 54, you said? It was 59. 59. All right, so 47. He's a half HP. Yeah. So everybody takes a beating from this thing. You lose five fighters. And it is now whoop, Leo's turn. Uh. Wait, did you do evisceration versus this thing? I sure did. That was, a, it, that was it applies to his damage also. Yeah, it was four D twelve. Plus a D ten was what he got to hit you with. He originally was seven D twelve. Oh, so we all would have been dead. Oh yeah. Right. Um Wait, how do you do fifty four damage in four D twelve? Huh? It's 48 max. What? No. 40, 12 plus a D10. And he rolled 47. But the diff remember, how well they hit you changes the amount. So for people yeah. who roll lower defenses, he hit for more. Right up. Right up. He did 5 additional damage to Leo, 9 additional damage to Annika, 18 additional damage to Sylvia, and 12 additional damage to Fernie. Ow. Right up. Uh, I rolled like three twelves in that roll and one two. 
I guess I'll throw a spear? I don't know. I have no idea. For 14. 14? Okay. On six. Six. The meta plane. Mm hmm. Um. Would you like to change how he attacks you guys, how he attacks the the main ship, or how he attacks the fighters? Mm, how he attacks us, I guess? Okay. Because if we get hit again, I'm dead. Yep. So his two hit you guys is now reduced to uh, 2d12. All right, so you just have to dodge a max of 24. <laughs> Well, it's doable he, now. He, he can ace still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Oh, no. Okay, that's that. Um, That's going to put us at the fighter's turn. I need you guys to roll 9d100. 9d100. Half threshold. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. Guys well, it's like eating this thing alive. Is it worth re-rolling that? Is it not worth re-rolling it? It's like. Eh. And Sylvia, we're gonna try to finish out the round. Sylvia. Uh, I want to try hound again. Okay. You biting hound again? I can do all it. I feel like all else I can really do. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Okay. Um, just roll roll a D two. Yeah. Oh, don't forget we actually regenerate mind points. Yep, that's what each round I'm like I'm getting my mind points back from the huge chunk I spent. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't I'm using homunculate points. I don't know if those regenerate. No, no, nobody else is. We that was they, our they, evolution. That from from Emina Animira too. Yeah. Yeah, that was our evolution that we got. We regenerate mind points. Yeah. Because that was Leo's reward, and whoever went with him with him got the reward as well. <clears throat> That's me. Where I think I think Annika got like an additional uh okay. Um that's gonna be the uh sure did that one, so it'll be the next one. Um so corpse barrage. Right, corpse barrage on your sheet. <laughs> what a Shoot terrifying a whole bunch of corpses. Yeah. yeah, all these energies and stuff on a whole bunch of corpses. <laughs> yeah, right. You're just gonna fire corpses out of your gun. Um so you roll D six and then you multiply it times ten the damage that it does per target. So, D6 times 10 damage on Corpse Barrage is what it adds to the Hydra. Okay. So, currently, your... Your, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, your Hawk, is a flying corpse. <laughs> yeah, just vomits yeah. more corpses out. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna vomit some corpses next round. Okay. Um, that's gonna put us at Fernie's turn. Yeah, Fernie's gonna heal everybody in the vicinity. Um, so what? It's uh, willpower maybe. What what would be his? Like it would be what and it's his, first aid. It's his intelligence, willpower, first aid. Intelligence, willpower, first aid. Okay, so that's plus three points. Six, Sixty twelve. 27. Ugh. 27. Um, so everybody gets... Uh, what's my math here? <laughs> How many people are you healing? Um, he's healing just the four... Or there's five, four of y'all. So he's healing all four of the... Okay, the they, all get, they all get 9 HP back. Hey, it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 9 HP. 
Just Remember, everyone on your turn, take that one hit point if you're within <laughs> oh, yeah, range. Yeah, I so I you really got 10. Yeah, don't forget that one hit point. So <laughs> yeah. 10 HP, you guys healed back yeah. this round. Watch out. Um, that's going to put us at roll 48 D100. This is his last This is his last giant attack thing. 48 D100. And oh, Max. No. God, so we're pretty good at staying near the... That's now, good. being at the end of the round, we're also going to end our session because Schneider's got to do stuff. I'm going to find out his current HP, which is really low, by the way. Mm. You guys have fucking chunked the shit out of this guy. 